I'm joined now by rugby coach Will Stadler, who worked uh, with Joe from the age of uh, nine to about 15. Nine to 15, yeah. What's it been like to What's it been like to see him in the five games so far? Oh, it was absolutely wonderful. The, the feeling you get when you see them run on at the pitch and you remember the younger days when you coached them is just absolutely fantastic. It fills you with joy to know that one day that's what they achieved. I absolutely loved it. And age 9, 10, 11, was, was, was the talent, the potential clear to see? Yeah, it was there. You can obviously see it's still rough talent, but, but definitely to be nurtured. And Joe was one of those who was always going into the tackles ruggedly and, and, and you know, no fear at all as well, though. And it, it, you could see there was one potentially, definitely for the future. And he's not someone who forgets his roots, is he? I know he regularly name checks you, thanks you as, a, as one of the keys to his success. That's one thing with Joe which I appreciate. He's always kept his feet on the ground. Whatever he's achieved, he will always remember the people that's been along the way for him. And I do really appreciate that. Okay, now viewers may, may have noticed that a, a South African ac uh, accent with you. Despite that, I'm going to ask you to um, forecast the England winning margin tomorrow. I'm going to be shot down in place, but the way that England played against the All Blacks, yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be a close game, small margin, but definitely England. I think they will take it. Okay, sounds good. Sounds like a safe bet to me. Yeah, we'll take that, John. Thanks very much indeed. One only. And excitement there. Excitement too for the uh, weekend of football head with all of our team.